And finally, we will go through Laravel project structure where I will explain what each folder represent and what is in there. First goes the app where our console commands will live. But those are not commonly used. Under the HTTP we have our controllers. Remember those? That is where our logic code will live in. In HTTP folder there is also middlewares. Middleware is a class that will be executed before the controller. For example, if we want to restrict particular pages to registered members only, we would do that restriction as a middleware. Let's take one middleware as example. Redirect if authenticated sounds interesting. Let's take a look. Now, Focus on this particular code. It is using check function from out package to check if user is authenticated. If that's true, it will redirect to slash home. If not, it will continue the user's request. Bootstrap folder is where the cache will live and there is nothing you need to worry about there. Moving on to the config folder. It have a lot of config files here that are accessible all over the Laravel code, including the controller. Let's open database.php for an example. Here you can configure what type of database storage you want to use and what encoding to use, as well as many other config settings. In the database folder, there are factories to which we'll get at the end. Migrations for managing the database structure such as tables and columns and see there for importing some data into the database. Now if we want to add 50 users to the database we can set up a factory where we will define all the necessary columns and then use Cedar and Faker which will import 50 users without having us to define each of their name, email or password. Ok, here we go to the public folder. If you watched the lesson on virtual host configuration, you may remember that we configured our server to point in public directory. That is your root folder for the deployment and where server should point to. In public folder we save our CSS and JS files since that is the only place accessible for the client browser. In the resources folder we have assets for the CSS or less or JS files that needs to be compiled. In lang you put your translated words if you are building a multi-language website and the last one views for the template and HTML code. Moving on to the routes. 
Now the only file that is important right now is web.php where you will make a URL route and tell where to point and what to return when someone access that URL. In the storage there are our application logs for the errors and you have nothing to do there except for reading logs of course. Tests are where our unit and functional tests are located, but we'll get to that later. And the last folder is vendor, where all the packages are located. Never edit anything in that folder. Now when we are done with the folders, there is one file you need to know about and that is .env where you define all the configuration such as MySQL database connection.